Hi guys, I'm Juan here, up with the sun, we're bringing you lifestyle and fandom realness. Happy Star Wars Day! This is my first time celebrating May the 4th be with you. And initially, I really had no interest until I started to expand my interest in Stranger Things. And it's one particular guy that I have right over my shoulder, a Mr. Steve Harrington, where I had really decided that I wanted to go ahead and continue the world building with my Stranger Things collection and adding to that including 80s icons such as Return of the Jedi. And you can see from the shirt that I'm wearing today, <laughs> I am fully prepared to immerse myself <laughs> with Star Wars. Specifically, the Ewoks and then some. <laughs> or like Steve likes to put it. Um, eyes on me, Harrington. Yeah, uh, Star Wars? A new hope. A uh, new what now? Which Star Wars? One with the teddy bears, duh. That scene is hilarious. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite scenes from Stranger Things. And it was just pivotal <laughs> in getting into the head of Steve Harrington and his grasp on pop culture, <laughs> or specifically nerd culture. <laughs> so let me show you how I've decided to get into the spirit of things. Starting with the little bears themselves. <laughs> So this is one of those scene bags and of course this is a lounge fly and I have no intention of collecting anything Star Wars related as far as my lounge fly is concerned. It's not that I don't like Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I love specific stories from Star Wars. I love Andor, Ship, Finn, and Poe. So I do have my own little corners of Star Wars that I am attracted to and that I enjoy. This specifically is referencing that scene in Stranger Things where Steve is referring to this movie. So in part of building up my Stranger Things collection, I just thought it was appropriate to get this lounge fly. And it's been out for a while, so you've seen this before, but it has this beautiful scene of these adorable Ewoks. Now, I do remember seeing the Ewok movie when I was a child. My mother grew up with Star Wars, that she's from that generation, so she really loves Star Wars. So, And I have memories as a child going to visit my cousins during Halloween time and after trigger treating we'd have Star Wars playing in the background paying attention whether as we're going through our candy or whatnot so it's been prevalent I love Star Tours I think that's a classic ride and I will be excited to see Galaxy's Edge if and when I end up going to the parks again <laughs> so I have a deep appreciation for it it's not a huge focus part of my collection until Steve Harrington opened his mouth. <laughs> but I think this is really cool. These scene bags are actually amazing. I love this printing on here and I love the scene here. Of course, Luke facing off with Darth Vader and I love the color of this plaque, this beautiful forest green. And I just thought it was a great color choice. It has like this bronze gold hardware and then the vegan leather trim here. It's beautiful to break it up. You can see Emperor Palpatine there going crazy with his lightning powers. The, the Ewok here. And then we have a shot of Boba Fett. And then we have a shot of the Ewok with R2-D2 in these side pockets again with the forest screen vegan leather trim. It's beautiful hardware. And this is a mirror image on this side. This back scene is extremely impressive. Like I just, this is gorgeous. I, and then there's Jabba the Hutt, of course, with his servants next to him. And again, I love the forest screen detail here, the padded straps, all the same color with the gold hardware, and the tab there's the same color. Green is my favorite color, so I am absolutely obsessed. I think this is a beautiful bag and a wonderful addition to my Stranger Things collection. And when you think, Juan, what are you talking about? This is clearly Star Wars. Well, again, Star Wars is part of the storytelling in Stranger Things. So I am trying to, again, build out the world of Stranger Things of that time period as well. So that's totally fits into it. You can see like right here though, that they snuck in this Darth Vader. Again, it's a mirror image on this side. So really cool. And I love Ewoks. I love bears in general. So they are just the cutest design characters ever. And the lining is just green and it says Return of the Jedi. And it does have a gusset of pocket here. Very nice. I love this. Before I forget, I actually love this zipper pull in the front, which is the Death Star 2.0 <laughs> that they got going on here. So, so freaking cool. Of course, they got the wallet. Now, I love how the wallet, the scene is completely different. And you have the Ewoks here lifting up C-3PO. 
And I, again, love the beautiful green of this plaque here with the trim of the forest green vegan leather. On the other side, we have Luke Skywalker himself with his lightsaber. So freaking cool. This is my favorite style of wallet. You can see the lining that they have for the bag. And it has a zip compartment here with card slots. And it continues here. But the cutout here is the rebel sign. So it's really nice. And again, this beautiful green, my favorite. So when I eventually do get to go to Galaxy's Edge, I will be well prepared. And I just think this is a beautiful set. And I know a lot of Star Wars collectors have this in their collection and rightfully so, it's so gorge. Now this next item, I really didn't think I was going to get, but again, in Stranger Things, they have an arcade actually right next to the family video. And it's a very popular hangout. The kids go there and it's only appropriate to continue on that world building process with this NYCC Fall Convention exclusive Star Wars Arcade Backpack. Oh my gosh. When this originally dropped, I was not interested because I was like, okay, I don't collect Star Wars. Why would I want this? And then I saw it in person at the convention. And I was like, that's actually freaking cool. <laughs> it is so cool. So you can see here that the screen is lenticular. And I just freaking love that new, it's a new game here. So let's press any button to continue. Then it transitions to the game here. And oh, it's just so well detailed. And I'm really not a huge fan of lenticular. Like I don't like it on pins, but you know, I, I never want to yuck anyone's yum. But that's just for me, I'm just not interested in that. But on here, it just makes sense. Love this front pocket here, because this is a pocket that is zipper behind here, right? You can see it sticking out right here. <laughs> and it has the buttons here with the controller and it has the wonderful Star Wars lavish fly plaque here and then it even has like where you would put in your quarters like that's so freaking cool the slot and then it even has like the key you would access to go inside and I love the shape it's this nice square and I know people are like well it's kind of square well if you bought a lounge fly that is like a book shape or even the gingerbread that came out last December it is in that same vein. I have these great side side pockets here, and I love the blue with the red and the yellow trim, and I love the galaxy here and the black. You can see the applique hanging over here. You can see more of the shape there. Very, very cool, going all around. The handle is trimmed in red. And on the back here, you have the crossing of the lightsabers here, and it says Crush the Rebellion, Save the Galaxy. Really cool detail. Beautiful black padded straps. And these are all debossed here. It's raised. These are like the TIE Fighters, right? And then these are the X-Wings. And this is Star Wars. I believe this part does glow in the dark, as indicated on the tag. And this lining is super cool with the tracker here on the grid. So freaking cool. It has a gusseted pocket. And one of the elements is that it does light up. So those lights work. So cool. I love going to arcades. I still have so much fun and so nostalgic to go to one. And every time like you walk and buy some in one of these, you're like, oh, I just gotta play. Even I'm gonna get my butt kicked. <laughs> or it's not gonna be that long of a game. It's still fun and you still have a great time. And it's just so cool. And I love that they did this. And I can't wait till they do more of these because this is definitely gonna fit in with the theme of Stranger Things. Right here, you can see where they have that battery pack. It's pretty skinny, so it's not gonna get in the way and more of that beautiful lining. Of course, they got the wallet. Here they move the lightsaber detail to the corner and they have the Star Wars plaque here and the beautiful galaxy behind it. The trim is that wonderful yellow, but the back is all lenticular. So they just decided to put the screen on this side. So I love that detail and you can get a better look at how the screen comes to be. <laughs> and the, sorry for the ring light but really cool detail you can see at the bottom here you have the symbols going in and out and it's my favorite style and i just love the retro colors that they picked here and again it has that zipper the lining of the bag and then the cutout is a tie fighter so that's so cool or the lighting right there but there's the tie fighter you can barely see it sorry loungefly.com was having an amazing sale and i just could not pass it up and it's just going to look amazing amongst my Stranger Things collection. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. 
it is the final hours of getting into my 500 subscriber appreciation giveaway so go ahead and see the video linked in the description box below so you can find out how you can enter it i know that the end time was a little wonky so it is going to be may 5th 11 59 p.m eastern standard time so walt disney world time <laughs> as they say and sometime next week i will let y'all know when i am going to announce that winner so the easiest way is just to subscribe first. So please make sure that you are subscribed and that you like this video and then share it with someone who thinks that might like it. Happy May the 4th. Happy Star Wars Day. And with that, be safe. Tell someone you love them because tomorrow's never promised. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.